we can add that not only ATC, but on a machine that has an APC, we have the same structure. So it's all about getting the customer up and running when the what ifs happen. So I think that's what we want to point out today. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. We appreciate you tuning in. Today, as you can see, I got Bernie with me again. He's already famous, so maybe there's no introduction needed. And we're standing in front of OKK. Now, about a year ago, you guys may have seen a video where OKK was machining hard, hard steel on a three-axis machine, and it was cutting like, like butter. I mean, Bernie and I, we did our Captain Morgan poses. We did our ah, 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 tool the Tim Man Taylor grunts because it was that beautiful to see, and it purred like a kitten when it was cutting through. Absolutely beautiful. Today, Bernie, we're standing in front of a five-axis machine, and we have a few other topics to discuss. Even though we know the rigidity and the reliability, we want to add on to that topic as well, don't we? That is correct. So at this show here, we have a variety of machines. Uh, this year here, we wanted to show off a very stout, rugged, five-axis platform for OKK. They make several sizes. Uh, but today, really here, showing um, applications where 20,000 RPM for non-ferrous work, 12,000 RPM for steel work, you know, they make it to cover each one. What we're showing here is our customers that you don't need just five axis, but you need the rest of the package. Do you need the flexibility? Do you need automatic uh, unintended running? So the machines are set up already for uh, hydraulics to air through the pallets, so we can add any kind of custom automation either up front or in the field. We have several that are on display here that can be added to the machine very comfortably. Uh, if you need more tools in the field, the jobs changes. These machines are very flexible and you can have tools added in about two days in the field. So that's really uh, kind of a unique feature that most people, you have to buy the number of tools up front, you have to buy the pallets up front, but we keep the initial investment at a dull roar, you know, what you need to get it done, and then as your business expands, we can have the right accessories. But one of the features we talked about here is it's great when they all cut metal, but what happens at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday and the power goes off, okay, or if something breaks? So OKK has designed a lot of their custom software so that it can make it very easy recovery. In fact, it's so easy, I want you to have you do one right now. So, Did you hear what Bernie just said? He just said that this is so easy, even a guy like I can do it. And they're putting me to the test live right now. Can you imagine that? So we talked about a lot of the you know, key words, productivity, profitability, the add-in of automation, which is going to be super easy to do. And now, oh, and you mentioned flexibility as well. And now it's ease of use. So I guess let's do it, Bernie. On the next tool change, you go ahead and hit that emergency stop, and I'll see if I can actually do this. Okay. So for those of you who can't see, we are actually looking right now inside the machine. The spindle is frozen in between a tool change. We've hit the emergency stop and they're testing me to see how, if I can do this, if I can fix it. So let's give this a look. We got to pull the emergency stop out. We got to do the reset button, turn the power on. We're doing a custom one here. We're looking at ACT return, which is a 15. We're going to hit the input button here. We got the alarm reset, which we're going to hit a couple of times. And then we're going to do an ATC cycle and it is that simple, guys. So yes, even if I can do it, you can do it for sure to go along with all of the productivity, the rigid, rigidity as well, and the automation that can be applied to it. Bernie, did we leave anything out? I think, I think this shows how easy it is, right? Well, you have a job here anytime, you know, working on the machines. You just proved itself. So uh, we can add that not only ATC, but on a machine that has an APC, we have the same structure. So it's all about getting the customer up and running when the what ifs happen. So I think that's what we want to point out today. And the what ifs just happened as in what if I could actually do this and I did. So Bernie, thank you so you much for- $10 now? You know. <laughs> he did pay me to do that. We won't talk about, that's off camera type stuff. Bernie, thank you so much for showing, educating me on this technology. The audience as well, it's always good when they can see how simple something can be done. It builds that confidence that we all need sure. to take the step into the evolution of our machine shops. So thank you for doing that for us. Again, thank you again. Thanks everyone, appreciate it.